Hello, 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 sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy. Coming right back to share another word with you guys. Happy Sunday to everyone. I pray that you guys are all doing well. <coughs> right now, my time just turned to 1022. That will make sense a little bit later, um, especially the 22 part. Um, anyways, <coughs> excuse me. I am so glad to be back to share another word with you guys. Once again, forgive me to all of those that I was supposed to have support calls with. I am taking a pause, a break, um, because the Lord wants me to. Okay, so I know that you all understand that and nobody's mad at me. Amen, amen, and amen. And so, um, but I can't wait to get back. I love um, chatting with you guys. I love sharing whatever the Lord gives me to share. And I just love being there for my sisters and brothers in Christ, okay? So um, whenever I get back to it, I will. God is so good. I thank him. I thank him. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. We all will rejoice and be glad in it, right? Amen, amen. <coughs> Excuse me. God is so good. So as the Lord began to give me this word, um, First of all, take every word back to the Lord in prayer, okay? That is very important. And um, and the title of the message is, A Promise from God is a Promise Fulfilled. We know that He is faithful to His word. Now listen, if you're tired of hearing messages like that, this is your cue. You can go ahead and um, log off or just listen to it at a later time. Believe me, I understand. Trust me, I understand. And uh, I'm not getting tired, though. I'm not getting tired of the Lord reminding me of his promises because that's where we are today. And I'm going to get this first part out of the way. Um, and then we can go into the second part. But let's start with the first part. So as I said with the Lord this morning, the Lord began to show me how that he is working things um, simultaneously. OK, one, we already know it is the judgment of our enemies. And, um, and, and I know that we don't like to hear it, right? But I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't wish it. I don't wish it. Um, I don't wish any harm on my enemies at all um, or anything like that. God did. He said it. This is his word and I'm just a messenger, okay? But also, he's also talking about the fulfillment of the promises. And <coughs> we know that, well, I don't know about you, but God had usually deals with me <coughs> You guys, excuse me. Let me get some water. <coughs> I did not think I was going to be getting on here coughing. The blood of Jesus. So the Lord deals with me when he's doing two things at one time. Okay. Judgment he's been talking. And I know those that know, you know. Okay. He's been talking about judgment. It's coming. The warnings have gone out to those that or outside of the will of God, who th those that are sinning, those that are not listening to the warnings that he is telling them, all right? And so, but he's also talking about his children. He is reminding us, yes, there's judgment for um, the wicked, but there is reward for the righteous. And this is what the Lord is saying once again. You guys, I promise I'm not trying to, to bring doom and gloom. I, I don't I don't care for the messages personally. Um, I'm not also just ta trying to talk about prosperity. I'm not. Um, but again, and so what the Lord was showing me this morning, he showed me a picture of an Etch-A-Sketch. Now, those that know it's a toy back in the day, it's a square red thing, and it has two white knobs on the bottle, bottom. Most of them come in red. They might have a few different colors. If you don't know what that is, go ahead, give a quick Google. Google will show you what it looks like. Also a video. And on the Etch-A-Sketch, it has two knobs. And you work these knobs at the same time to create something, to create a picture. And you're turning them, same time, simultaneously. All right? This is what the Lord is saying. He is doing something simultaneously. Simultaneously means at the same time. So there's judgment for the wicked and reward for the righteous. That's the word. That, that is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get this first part out of the way, which is the judgment. And we're going to get into the good stuff. Okay? Well, it's all good. The word of God is just right anyhow, whether we like it or not. I understand that people that have not had to deal with, um, let me tell you something. L let me go back. So the Lord has given me the, has given me the number 22. I don't want to jump ahead of myself. And that's why when it, when the channel, I mean, when the time turned to 1022, I was like, 
there's 1022. The Lord keeps showing me the number 22, the number 22. And we know that when the Lord give you a number, one day it can mean this. The next one, it, he can give you a different revelation. A week later, a month later, a year later, whatever it is. This is why it is vitally important to sit with the Lord. Lord, what are you saying this time with the number? See, the last time the Lord gave me the number 22, he was talking about... Um, counterfeits leaving or something like that don't 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 quote me exactly on it but he was talking about unmarried anyways it was something different let's put it like that it was something different and so this time he is showing me the number 22 and there's several meanings and we're going to get into that okay so listen Again, family, it's important to sit with the Lord for clarity, all right? Ask him, Lord, what are you saying to me here? Whatever's for you, take that. Whatever's not for you, leave it behind. Um, and I also understand that when it comes to talking about um, judgment, it is, it is so unfortunate for many of us that it's family members. I know, listen, those that, that, that say, you know, you know, pray for them and love them. We are, we are, but you cannot fully understand how it feels and the damage that it does when it's family who has turned against you. And not only that, who actually wants to take you out, period. Okay. Who, who can be heavily involved in witchcraft. It, it is hard to fully understand if you not, if you have not gone through it, you won't, you won't fully get it. So we do love them and we are praying for them. We wish them no ill. Amen. I would be out of line with the will of God if I'm wishing damnation on my enemy. The Bible says pray for those. Okay. So for those of you that have not gone through it, you're just going to have to empathize with us a little bit and understand that we do love them. This is the word of God. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. He didn't say except for family. They are excluded. They can do all kind of crazy and ugly stuff to you. There's no, no, um, um, judgment coming to them. That would, that's not how God works. Okay. Okay. The soul that sent it, it shall die. It's just the word of God, family or not. With all of that being said, I am praying for my family, your family, for the world. <coughs> okay. It is God's desire that they would come to repentance. The Lord says he have issued warning after warning, after warning, after warning. It is their responsibility, our responsibility to take heed to the warning of God and turn from our wicked ways. Amen. Listen, we have to do it. Thank you, Jesus, for drawing me in. Let's pray for them. Okay, so I wanted to put that out there so that we can better understand. So that those of you who have not experienced um, um, this kind of, what do I want to say? you know, of a family turning against you in such a horrible way for those have not, that have not experienced. Listen, pray for us. Okay. Pray for us. We don't stop loving them. You know what I'm saying? We can't be around them because they, they, we can't. Amen. God will separate you from some family. He will. Okay. He will, he will separate you. So back to the number 22. So the Lord led me over to, um, in my Bible, he was saying so much this morning. I was pausing. I'm like, daddy, this is a lot. And for those of you know, when the Lord speaks, it can be a lot. Um, and I'm like, Holy Spirit, help me. I, I need to pause and process all of this that the Lord is giving me. And so what the Lord have for me to share with you, I'll share that. And some I'm not allowed to share or either not yet. <coughs> So like I said, the first part, we're going to get out of the way. And that's the judgment part. So the Lord led me over to my Bible in my Bible to the page number 22. And in this part, it is talking about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. God was reminding me that he said what he said and that I have no say in the matter. <clears throat> because I was saying, Lord, can you just clear my name? Or Lord, can you just do X, Y, Z? He's like, nobody's actions come without consequence. There is grace and mercy, and I'm grateful for it. Amen. And so, and it's not easy, like I said, when we're talking about family members that have wronged us and want to take us out, okay, wanted to see us dead, period, who was heavily involved in witchcraft and stuff of that nature. It's not easy to talk about it, okay? It's not easy to think about it. But the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm, okay? I don't play with God. 
I don't. God says what he says and he, he means what he means, period. And yes, we are to pray for them. Okay. And like I said, I in no way, shape, form or fashion wish to see this destruction on anybody, on anybody, especially my family. I'm not wishing for that. As I live and breathe before God, I am not wishing for that, but I am praying for everyone. Amen. Amen. I thank the Lord for having mercy on me. All right. On me. Amen. Amen. As well. And so, um, God is merciful. He has put out warning after warning. And so we must continue to pray for them. We must continue to pray for America. Okay, the America America has completely lost her way. All right, she has called wrong, right, right, wrong. We see all of the crazy stuff that is happening. Have you guys seen that? And I'm gonna just go on out and say it, where Biden is, is saying that um, he took Easter and is gonna make it a day of visibility for transgender. The blood of Jesus and the devil is a liar. Really? On the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, if that is not a slap in the face of God, I don't know what is. I'm just going to say it and be blatant and bold about it. All right. What in the world? We have to pray. Listen, destruction is coming to America, period. I shared the vision I seen um, before. I was wide awake. It was crazy. Chaos, fire, smoke, missiles, destruction, pestilence. I seen it. I was wide awake and, and the Lord showed me in a vision. We have to pray for this world as a whole. Okay. But America, who was founded on Jesus Christ, right? On the word of God. The scary thing. With all that being said. With all that's happening, because I'm praying, I'm praying every single day, every single day. Oh God, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus, for this land, for this world. Amen, amen. All right, secondly, let's move on from that. I know, I know, I know. Nobody want to hear that, uh, but the word of God is right and it's true. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Secondly, the Lord constantly is reminding me of his promises. You guys, let me tell you something. Okay, let me let me stay with my notes. Okay, the Lord is constantly reminding me of his promises, especially my marriage promise. Okay, I'm not trying to focus on it. I'm not trying to constantly think about it. God continues to let me know that it is very close. All right, not just me. This word is not just for me. That's why I'm on here sharing it. All right, it's for many others. And uh, for those that are tired of marriage words, I understand. Okay, I understand no judgment. Okay, um, so so those that is for listen to what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you. All right. Amen. So let us get into a variety of the promises that God is talking about. Okay, like I said, I'm not trying to focus on marriage. I'm not trying to focus on give me, give me, give me. I want, I want I'm none of that. I, I just want to be in alignment with the will of my father. Hallelujah. With hallelujah, with daddy, with Abba. I want to be in alignment. I don't want to be way focused over here or way focused on there, over there, but I want to be in alignment with the will and, uh, and the word of God for my life. Amen. Don't y'all agree? Somebody got to say amen. Hallelujah. Time stamp, time stamp it and put in amen right here. Okay. Amen. Now I clocked it at 1320, but um, whatever it was for you. Okay. Amen. I want to be in alignment with the will of God for my life. Whatever that is. If he keeps telling me every day for a month, two months, the promise is coming. The promise is coming. So be it. I'm going to bask and thank him for the promise. Hallelujah. 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 And so the Lord has been telling me over and over again, even just last night. And I tried to brush it off last night, if I have to be honest, where the Lord said swiftly, it's coming quickly. Three things lined up last night in regards to my marital promise. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's get over into the word. This is a variety of promises that we'll talk about really quick. Number one. All right. Genesis 21 and 22 says, and it came to pass and I'm not going in any specific specific order. Okay. Specific order, not Pacific. I'm sorry. Specific order. Um, Genesis 21 and 22. There we go. 22 says, and it came to pass beautiful. Amen. At that time that Abimelech and Fico, Fico, whatever his name is, Fifi, Fifi, Fi, um, the, the chief captain of his host spake unto Abraham saying, this is it right here, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. King James Version, promise number one, God is with you in all that you do. 
That is for somebody. That is for us. God is saying to us, children of God, <coughs> I am with you in all that you do. All right. We are centered and lined up and in alignment with the will of God. For those that this word is for. God is saying you have lined up. You are in alignment to receive what I have for you. Okay, listen, family, you have favor with God. I cannot stress to you enough how much you mean and I mean to Abba Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, he does not play about you. He does not play about my, me. He loves us, all right? He loves you. And he is about to show up and show out in our life. Amen. So really quick little sidebar here. On a Bible, I use post-it notes. I love them, okay? Little tabs. My Bible is completely marked up, okay? And in, in this area here, where um, um, page 22, a post-it, it was a blue post-it in my Bible, and it says, it's coming, exclamation. The wait is over, exclamation. Be expected, not anxious. Amen, okay? I just want to throw that in. And just a reminder, just a reminder. God is a good God. Let's keep going. Genesis chapter 22. This is where Abraham finds out that God is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And real quick, at the top of my Bible, the title, um, it says, Abraham blessed. I just love it. Say your name. My name is Tracy. Tracy blessed. All right. Sharon blessed. Amen. Amen. Claudia blessed. Shay blessed. Robert, blessed. David, blessed. Josh, blessed. Steve, blessed. Put your name in. Don't Forgive me if I didn't think of a name. I'm just calling out some names. <coughs> blessed. Okay? Chantel, blessed. Amen. Dominique, blessed. Winter, blessed. Rose, blessed. You guys are blessed. Xavier, blessed. Whatever your name is, put it there. This says Abraham, blessed. Tracy, blessed. Linda, blessed. Cassandra, blessed. Joey, blessed. Amen. Tajay, blessed. Whatever your name is, put it in. Blessed. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. <coughs> okay. That is promise number two. Provision. Okay. This is where, like I said, Abraham found, found out in this place. Remember the Lord said, sacrifice your son. This was his promised son. He said, sacrifice him. Abraham went to do it. Amen. Let, let's read some scripture. Let's read some scripture. Let's read some scripture. Let's go over to Genesis chapter 22. Um, let's start at verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him, a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Verse 14, and Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah, as it is said to this day in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, by myself, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, by myself, I have sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and not and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son. 17, that in blessing, I will bless thee and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand, which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Hallelujah. Verse 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. This is God. You guys, listen, let, let this <clears throat> let this 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 scripture passage of scripture get into your spirit pause the video if you have to ponder on what this is saying it's so much in it the blessings of god the season the time is now hallelujah to the lamb of god i'm so grateful okay Ooh, thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Not that I care about how these people looking at me in this parking lot. Thank you, Jesus. But they looking. Okay, look. <sighs> Glory to the Lamb of God. The time is now. The time is now. I'm excited about it. 
I have been through a lot and I know you have too. <coughs> I know you have too. Okay, a lot. All right, this message is so full of so much and it's not even all, okay? It's so much more. Let me move on. I pray I have enough space on my phone. I didn't bring my laptop. Okay, so so promise number two, so to speak. So number one, um, number one, we said that God is with you, okay? In everything that you do, that's favor. Number two, we're talking about provision and blessings abundantly. All right, amen and amen. Okay, so God is for you. Remember that. He is not against you. He is for you. He will bless you and provide for you just as he promised. All right, can't beat God given. I also notice in my Bible, in reference to the number 22, in this particular page here, how that the number 22 had been written in various dates. Okay, for example, 1022. Now look, when I seen the time when I started at 1022, I have forgot about this. This is the date. The time was 1022. Now this is the date, 1022. There's the number 22. Another date was 522. And the strange thing about 522, I accidentally, I guess, put the number, I mean, put the year 2026. I don't even know what that means, but I'm just putting it out there. 522. And then again, 25. 22 okay anyways that's just the lord confirming over and over again this is you on the right track i am speaking to you in regards to number 22 okay let's move on brothers and sisters let's go so god's promise still stands period that's it that's all it still stands amen amen abraham did not have to sacrifice his son but knowing that he would give the the promise back to god knowing that he would uh, look pleased god knowing that abraham would he trusted God. We got to trust him, saints of God. We got to trust him, children. Amen. Family, we got to trust him. Amen. A promise from God is a promise fulfilled. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about marriage. Your marriage promise will without fail come to pass. Okay, it. I, I, listen, no, this is not just about marriage. I can't stress that enough and I'm not going to keep going into it. That's all I'm going to say about it. In Genesis chapter 2, I'm going to start at verse 18. I'm going to read verse 18. Then I'm going to read verses 21 and 22. We already know. And the Lord said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Verse 21. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took out of his rib. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man made he woman and brought her unto the man. Okay, Proverbs 18 and 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor with the Lord. Hallelujah. I just wanted to put that in there. God is so amazing. I want to clarify once again the whole message. Okay, the whole message is to point out that this is the time. This is the time that God will fulfill his promises to us. Amen and amen. They are vast, you guys. They are many. Hallelujah. Amen. If you do not desire marriage, okay. It's okay. Okay? But for those of us that do, for those of us who have a promise from the Lord, God is reminding us again. Okay? I cannot get away from it. I'm not trying to. But but look, I'm not trying to focus on it or think about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be too much just that's all I think about and I'm not trying to brush it off I've been on both sides of that spectrum where that's all I thought about obsessing 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 marriage 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 and then I went to the other side forget the whole thing I don't but right now this is where I am thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit okay where I'm right here thank you father whenever the Lord brings up the promise I say thank you father it's so beautiful thank you for the beautiful gift of marriage <coughs> because that's what he promised to me and many of you that's where we should be, you guys, right there. Stay in alignment. Amen? Amen. Stay in alignment. Not obsessing over it and not dismissing it altogether. Saying, I want, I want, I want, I want, and forget it, forget it, forget it. No. Thank you, Father. Right there in alignment with the Word of God. Just thank Him for it and move on. Pray for your, your kingdom spouse, okay? Pray for your God ordained spouse. Amen, amen. So, um, and, and I'm not tired of hearing it. Not now. I used to be. I'm like, I don't want to hear it no more. But I understand if you're there. 
we just we're just trying to stay in alignment right amen amen i thank you father for the reminder so so whatever god has promised you is coming okay again for me he keeps reminding me as of late over and over again about my marriage promise all right it's not me i promise i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to to stay in alignment amen but listen, God is not only speaking of marriage, okay, that are fastly approaching, all right, but also a settlement, settlement meaning a place of your own. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This can also mean a settlement as in um, you won a settlement in a, uh, some kind of case, okay, or a legal battle. That's for, that's for somebody. Right there, that just hit my spirit so differently because I was talking about settlement as in a place of permanency, a place of your own. Holy Spirit just dropped in me. This is a court cases that somebody needs to, to, to win, okay? It's yours in the name of Jesus. By faith, you claim that, okay? Amen, amen. So settlements are coming. We're talking about lawsuits that you are winning financial money, okay, of a substantial amount in Jesus' name. Okay, so let's move on. And the Lord is talking about, here we go, financial wealth as, as well. Stability in many areas of your life, okay? That includes your health and wholeness, your peace of mind and joy unspeakable, okay? Whatever the promise is, all right? We're talking about deliverance from addictions, all right? Of any kind, drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever the case may be, overspending, right? You don't need that. Stop buying it. Amen. Woo! Let me tell you something. Amazon. I'm not even going there with Amazon. All right. Packages galore. Big and small. I had it bad. I had it bad. Now I'm getting what I need and, and some things that I want. We got to find that balance. Okay. So God is bringing deliverance. Amen. The promise. If God has promised you deliverance of that son, daughter, um, prodigal. Okay. Whatever it is, it's coming to pass. This is the time of God's uh, promises. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Okay, last scripture because who I am in 26 minutes, but that's okay. I'm not worried. The last scripture that I will be sharing for this message, the Lord kept this scripture, and I mean for more than a week or so, is Joel 2 and 25. I'm seeing 2 and 25 everywhere. I was in a room that I stayed in. The room number was 225. I says, okay, Lord, I'm not trying to get caught up on numbers. I like to be careful. I'm telling you, God is saying something here. So let's start at verse 21 and read. I'm reading out of NIV. It says, do not be afraid, land of Judah. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid, you wild animals, for the pastures in the wilderness are becoming green. Hallelujah. Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the autumn rains because he is faithful. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and oil. 25, I will repay you. For the years of the locusts have eaten, the great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. Let's read verse 25 in the King James Version. It says this, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, hallelujah, and my great army, which I have sent among you. God says, he had a vocal shandy, I see, hallelujah. I feel the presence under my shot because I double shandy, I see, of God. God is about to restore to you. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Oh my God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Don't be tired, brothers and sisters. All right. Hold on to the promise of God. He means what he says. Hallelujah. Okay. He means what he says. He is faithful. God is faithful. God in God is faithful. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He's faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to go ahead for good measure and read verse 26. Okay, listen. Verse 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. 
God is not putting us to shame. Okay. And I know people are saying, you've been saying this a long time. You've been saying God is going to do X, Y, Z for a long time. But God is saying he will not put us to shame. And he will fulfill every promise that he's made to you. Every promise that he's made to me. God will. God will. God will fulfill every promise that he has made to you. Hallelujah. I didn't expect to be on here crying, but God is a good God. Listen, I'm going to read verse 26 one more time <coughs> and then we'll be done. Okay. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. Children of God, receive the word of the Lord in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. A promise from God is a promise fulfilled. That's the word for today. I love y'all so much. Jesus loves you so much more. All right. Oh God, this word blessed me so much. I just feel the presence of the Lord and I give him praise, glory, and honor for he has been so good to me. I, 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 God did not have to allow me to be here. All right. And, and my testimony is just kind of throughout, <coughs> excuse me, throughout my channel. God has been good to me. He's been so good to me. He did not have to allow me to live and, and be here, but he saw fit because of his mercy and grace coming from drugs and alcohol and crazy stuff. God, by his mercy, allowed me to be here. I'm so grateful. I will live for him for the rest of my days, for all of my life. However long he see fit for me to be on this earth, to God be the glory. And my life belongs to him. Let me get off y'all because I will testify. Okay. Amen. Amen. Listen, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you for all those that prayed for me too. And sent me, you know, things to drink the lemon and, you know, just all kinds of things. Thank you guys so much. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, that's okay. Check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now. Okay. And I celebrate with you. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And until, and Jesus loves you so much more. And until next time, remember that a promise from God. <coughs> oh, Jesus. And remember that a promise from God is a promise fulfilled. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.